Hey teacher tribe, welcome to another week. My name is Allison Jones. For those who are new, I am a second grade teacher in Treasure Coast, Florida. For those who are returning, thank you for being a part of the teacher tribe. So I'm not gonna lie, I did not record these last two days. Today is Wednesday, February 1st, and it is past dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. I did not record on Monday because I had Let's just say I had an appointment. So right after the kids left, I was out of here. Um, yesterday, I didn't record because after tutoring, I had other plans <laughs> that I had to rush out of here and handle. So today's Wednesday and it is early, dis early dismiss or early release. And we just got out of our PD meeting. So technically it's a minute to three currently and we were free to go. So I had to make sure I recorded today to start off the week and then I'll head out of here. So being that it's the first day of Black History Month, let me show you what I am working on for our second grade bulletin board. So I picked at the beginning of the year, um, October, February, and there was another month later on in the year that I chose, which I don't remember. I wanna say it was April, it might be May. I don't remember, I think, I don't know. I picked another month in the future but for february because we kind of rotate who on the team decorates our team bulletin board for the month of february given that it's black history month i got motivation kind of like motivational posters with, with black people <laughs> so speak like barack study like booker write like maya Compete like Wilma. Oops. Shoot for the stars like May. Be brave like Rudy. Dream like Martin. And I have some others, but I just haven't put them on construction paper yet. So I have lead like Harriet. Play like Jackie with a picture of Jackie Robinson. You, you get the point. I run like Jesse, my soror. Be bold like Kamala. I have a few of my sorors in here. My um, sorority sisters. Um, be a boss like Madam CJ Walker, my other sorority sister. Calculate like Catherine. If you don't know who Catherine is, they made a movie off from her. So check out Hidden Figures, shameless plug. Teach like Mary, the founder of the great Bethune-Cookman University. Practice like Michael. Be the best like Serena. Work like Oprah. Protest like Rosa. And the last one, inspire like Amanda. So this one I'm still a little iffy about because maybe not a lot of people don't know who she is. Um, but... I have them. There were a bunch more, but our bulletin board's not that big. And then given that I am putting it on construction paper, I'm gonna try and squeeze in as many on the bulletin board that I can. It was early release, so today was like a blur. It happened all so fast. Not to mention we are also doing I Ready Diagnostic. So yesterday and today was reading, and Thursday and Friday are math. Um, I had a lot of my friends finish their reading one today, and I just had them start start math. So some of them are already in the groove of doing math. So honestly, friends, I don't have anything really to update you. Tomorrow we start unit six. Um, tomorrow's also my birthday. 2-2, two, two, February 2nd. Um, shout out to all the Aquariuses watching the my vlog. Thank you for being part of the teacher drive. But yeah, guys, like it's really... This week has been like really going by fast. I am not tutoring tomorrow because of the fact that it's my day. They're lucky I'm showing up to work. <laughs> Normally I take off my birthday, but because I have later on this month, I'm taking days off. Um, I'm just, yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna happen. So I'll be here. So I'm gonna, I guess I'll call it. I don't really have anything else to tell you all. So until tomorrow, teacher drive. Bye. Hello, teacher tribe. Happy birthday to me. 
<laughs> Today is Thursday, February 2nd, 2-2, two, two, and it is just past dismissal time. <sighs> remember to take a ooh, remember to take a breath. So normally I would be tutoring, but given the current situation, I got today covered, so no tutoring for me today. Today was honestly an average day. Like they wouldn't even take pity on me because it's my birthday. It was, oh, first and foremost, I'm gonna insert a little snippet of what I walked into this morning. So take a look at this. Please look at what I walk into. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. I don't know to be mad or to be uh, to be excited. <laughs> This is too funny. Okay, you're making a video. Well, there you go. All right. That was the that mess I walked into this morning. I was happy. And then it's like when it all sunk in, it's like, yay, ha ha ha. Okay, who's going to clean this up? So that was interesting. Um, but of course, I appreciated the thought. And I ran and chased her down in the hall. She saw me and she started to run. I'm in heels today, by the way. And that, wasn't, <laughs> that was not an easy task. But... I still thanked her. I appreciated the thought. Um, and it was the 100th day of school. So I had each I had each kid count 100 streamers and then throw everything else away. So made a little joke out of it. A few students did bring me a little token for my birthday. One student got me a birthday sash um, with a, um, like a, a, it's like a sign and it said, it said something, I don't remember what it said, but I thought it was super cute and he even did a little card for me. Another friend gave me a mug with a little perfume in it. And then my kids from last year, two of my kids from last year brought me little stuffed animals and a mini cactus. Since I have a plant themed classroom, they brought me a little cactus. So I was just feeling the love today. And I, of course, truly appreciate it. But it was a odd day because we were playing catch up since yesterday was early release. They did their diagnostic from Tuesday until tomorrow. So even though it was an early dismissal yesterday, we still had to do the diagnostic. So it put kind of a damper on things because we were supposed to finish up the unit yesterday. But then we had no extra time because things got cut, obviously, early release. So we still had to do the diagnostic, less time to do any other assignment, so we were kind of playing catch up today. So we didn't get a chance to start unit six today like we were supposed to. So we finished unit five today, even though I have maybe three or four stragglers who are still trying to finish up th their things. But for the most part, unit five is complete. So tomorrow I got to try and cram together day one and day two and get those people who did not finish day five, unit five to finish unit five. So yeah and we gotta get all of that done before fun friday so we'll see how that goes but it was really a regular schmegular day kids were still talking they lost two minutes of recess nothing special besides the fact that i was getting showered with happy birthdays all day so yeah that's my day teacher tribe so until tomorrow i will see you for fun friday bye teacher tribe Hello, Teacher Tribe. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, February 3rd, and it is past dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. <sighs> okay, so I crawled to the finish line of getting through today because <sighs> I'm not going to keep complaining to you guys about their talking. So we're just going to say it was a normal day, but it was getting to the point. We were all right. Keep in mind, from Tuesday until today, in the morning, they've been doing their di eye ready diagnostic. It happens during reading time, even the math diagnostic, we still do it in the morning during reading time. Because it happens in the morning during reading time, not a lot of reading has been happening. Thankfully, Tuesday and Wednesday, it was towards the end of a unit, so there it wasn't you know, much teaching. It's more of finalizing the project, taking the unit test for those two days. Yesterday and today, we're supposed to be starting another unit. Nothing got done. <laughs> it was more of 
when we had a little bit of time left of reading when the test, when we had to stop them, it was more finishing unit five. So today now, when they were done, I tried to start unit six and all we got to do was go through and look at the magazines. What else can you do? But we have everything ready for Monday. So Monday, which is supposed to be day three of week one of unit six, will technically be day one, two, and three, if I can get it all in together. So it's, <sighs> yeah, but we'll just continue to play catch up until we're caught up and we go from there. Like. Nothing else I can do, <laughs> it needed to get done. But it was a good day, I had 19 out of my 20 kiddos, even though they started dropping like flies and a few of them started leaving early. I think, no, I had 18, I had 18 kiddos. Yeah, I had two out and then two left early. So, yeah. <laughs> my brain guys forgive me it's friday and i know i was bad about recording monday and tuesday so i didn't have much to tell you but thankfully not much has really changed this week so i am in red showing our pink goes red for heart health month shirt because of the fact that it is heart health month in the month of february and also the district asked teachers to wear to wear red today so two for one and then I took a picture with my kiddos who also wore red because I told them about it earlier this week. And I want to say maybe half of my kids remembered to wear red or burgundy. I took, I took a picture with them if they were in burgundy too. But then two of them came late so they missed the picture. But they remembered. So I'm just happy about that. So we were in red today. Um, a lot of the staff and other students also remembered to wear red for heart health as well. But it was a good day. Oh, one of my students brought me a belated Christmas, Christmas, a belated birthday gift. I thought it was so sweet. So she told her mom and look what she got me. Isn't that cute? It's a little, it's a little path, bag. Um, I just thought it was a sweet token. So I'm super happy. But yes, Teacher Tribe, that is all I have for you. Short and sweet week. I will link um, the unit six link for the resources that I've been telling you guys about that we've started using from unit five. I will link that in the description box below for unit six for those who are going to continue to use those resources. And that is all I have for you this week. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Comment down below if there's anything more you want to sh me to show you or if you want to have any questions about anything. And I'll see you all next week. Bye teacher tribe. Thank you.